Seven and one half Fathom Reef is located two miles offshore on the continental shelf of South Texas in seven and a half fathoms or 45 feet of water. It is small compared to other reefs and banks in the Gulf of Mexico, extending only 350 yards in length and 50 yards in width. Most of the reef is 10 feet above the bottom, but the high point is almost 20 feet. Unlike the large salt dome uplifted banks in the northwestern gulf, or the relic Pleistocene coral reefs on the mid-continental shelf, the origin of seven and one half fathom reef was a fossilized pond or small lake on an ancient barrier island. Fossil mastodon and mammoth remains, as well as fossil freshwater snails can be found embedded in the rock. The reef is an ancient watering hole that solidified in time and gradually submerged. This is one of several such banks and the largest along the South Texas coast. Studies in the 1960s and 70s revealed high biodiversity and abundance of marine fauna. Polychaete worms, sponges, and tunicates form a thick mat on the upper parts of the reef, providing habitat to numerous mollusks, crustaceans, echinoderms, and fish. Tropical fish are found close to the reef, and red snapper are abundant above it, along with occasional sea turtles and sharks. Because there are no similar structures elsewhere in the central or south Texas coastal area, protection or conservation of this unique habitat is of utmost concern. Revealing its exact locality could open the doors to divers and fishermen who could easily, even if unintentionally, impact its future sustainability. Seven and one half fathom reef is unknown to many, but it is a true small treasure in the vast Gulf of Mexico with diverse and abundant marine flora and fauna and many rare and unusual species. <laughs>